case you can't tell from his irrepressible brogue, Christopher Kane is Scottish. I see a couple of real Scottish icons in his new collection. There's Charles Rennie McIntosh, the designer from Glasgow, and there's Miss Jean Brodie, the school teacher from Edinburgh. When I first saw the clothes, I instantly thought of Arts and Crafts and Charles Rennie McIntosh. Some of them actually look like his chairs now that you say that. But no, he's someone who's been totally slandered in Glasgow. And, but yeah, I can see that. That's a nice twist, actually. Christopher got me on the plane to come out here. I was like, these are the main people I wanted to see when I came out. The clothes are so beautiful. They're so beautifully designed and everything. It kind of needed a little lightness to the sort of top end of the girl. So it's a very kind of like, kind of a grungy, just did it herself kind of feeling. I thought it was a beautiful collection. It was very clever. I loved what he did with the tweed. Tweed is major. We're already seeing that for next season. I thought it was a beautiful, beautiful collection. Love the corset action um, in some of the dresses, but it wasn't restrictive at all. A lot of stripes, velvet stripes. Um, it was more or less just playing pieces of paper and black markers. I was so over everything that I did last season, so I was like, you know what, everyone thinks I can do circles, but actually I can do really great straight lines as well. It wasn't a retaliation, but it was just like, I don't know, something bolder, stronger, more aggressive, and not so pretty. I thought it was very, very creative. I thought it was um, slightly directional. I liked the, the piecing. I liked the fact that there was, um, you know, a little bit more skin showing you. Know, it wasn't so reserved. Um, but at the same time, it was with restraint. We have staggered around in heels for absolutely ages, and to see those girls suddenly come out in a man's brogue, not even a woman's brogue, a man's brogue. Luxury cashmere all the way throughout the collection because obviously I work a lot with cashmere, but um, there's nothing better in mixing cashmere with velvet or velvet stripes. It's just, yeah, why not? I really loved it when it all came out at the end and you saw it in its entirety. I felt that when you were seeing it just three looks at a time, you didn't get the strength of it and the strength of the textural and the the stripes, just they, they were great dresses and it's, I think it's always difficult seeing that calibre of work in London sometimes because it's like so professional it's so slick, you can see it goes straight out there onto the backs of women 